10 underrated PlayStation 1 games that have aged well. A little over 25 years ago, PS1 transformed the world of gaming with some revolutionary graphics and some engrossing gameplay. We live in times where we are spoiled for choice with a wide variety of games to pick from, but the pioneer that pushed us into this luxury would have to be PlayStation 1 by Sony. With the overwhelming presence of Nintendo and Sega, Sony had to cater to a fan base with something completely different. The startup sound of a low bass rumble was music to the gamer's ears, and the graphical power that it offered was path-breaking in terms of realism. We got used to the fast-paced polygonal action thanks to this wonderful device, and together with the futuristic electronic music, the gaming experience was incredible. In this new generation of gaming, there were plenty of fantastic games that appealed to the fans. Among this bulk of very popular games, some hidden gems remained underrated, and in this video, we serve to you a collection of some of these fantastic games that made our childhood special. Silent Bomber Many years ago, Juta was misled into destroying a civilian's residence and was imprisoned for his unintentional crimes. After being released, he's made part of a group of soldiers who are led by Henri O'Hara, and the team is tasked with the elimination of a large mothership, Dante. However, their mission is compromised when enemy attacks make their dropship crash and Juta is separated from the team. He must deal with the threats inside Dante and try to regroup with his team. His bomb dispensers on both hands are his weapons to deal with the enemy. This third-person action game was a welcome change from the typical 3D action and shooting games. It had a convincing storyline that caught the fancy of the gamers, but the biggest attraction was the extraordinary gameplay. The player has to go through 14 missions, each one of which ends as a trying challenge or a boss battle. The common goal, of course, remained the constant destruction of Dante. The modes of destruction, however, were unique, as there are no guns or conventional arsenal for the job. Instead, it had to be done by meticulous use of the bombs from the bomb-dispensing E-Unit gauntlets. One of the fascinating aspects of the gameplay was how you could choose the strength and blast radius of the bombs. What seems easy at first glance turns out to be quite challenging once you start proceeding through the levels. Some moments in the course of the game are unreasonably difficult to ace, but what's a game without a tough challenge? With amazing sound quality and impeccable graphics, this game developed by CyberConnect2 and published by Bandai is one of our treasured collections. Rampage World Tour A sudden explosion in the Scum Labs facility releases three characters, George, Ralph, and Lizzie. Now, they team up to destroy all the bases of Scum Labs throughout the world and kill the employees during their missions. As you proceed in the game, you have to face the CEO of Scum Labs, who turns into a monster that tries to combat the trio. This arcade game was the second in the Rampage series, and the brainchild of Game Refuge Inc. that was published by Midway Games. One of the reasons that it became a popular game back in the day was that it was incredibly simple to play with basic controls. The graphics were absolutely phenomenal, and the beautiful backgrounds made for a visually pleasing experience as you played the game. However, had the levels been in 3D, the game could have fared even better. Even then, it was great fun to eat people, demolish buildings, and swat down aircraft like flies. We can't help but wonder what a classic it could have been had this game had been made with contemporary technology. The goal was to quickly destroy all the buildings in the cities while destroying the forces or avoiding them. While novice gamers can start off easily, soon the difficulty levels go higher and require good gaming skills. With catchy music and fun characters and monsters, this was a gamer's delight in those times. Pepsi Man! 
Pepsi Man. The protagonist in this game, Pepsi Man, is the Japanese mascot for Pepsi, and he prevents various disasters in Pepsi City. In the course of the game, he fills up vending machines in San Francisco, rehydrates plane crash survivors, or people on top of burning buildings. Basically, you play as the mascot and avoid all obstacles by running or jumping while progressing through the various stages. Developed and published by Kid, this game was a raging hit among the kids who were immediately attracted to the simplicity of the gaming. This action game is played from a third-person perspective, where Pepsi Man automatically runs through the stages and saves those who are dehydrated. The player can collect Pepsi cans along the way to gain points, and must dodge the obstacles along the way. To do so, the player has four different moves where he can run, super jump, jump, and dash through the objects. At times, the most unexpected thing would pop out of nowhere and kill you. The funniest thing was how the makers compensated the lack of a buffed-up budget by introducing videos in between where an American man would watch the player's performance while drinking Pepsi. This was not intense gaming, but was fun and satisfying nevertheless. While it was certainly a lot about advertising for the product, gamers won't be complaining about such forms of advertising ever. Fighting Force Dr. Dex Zhang is your nemesis in this game, the ruthless criminal who planned the destruction of the world. He predicted that the world would end in the year 2000. But when a glitch seems to prevent the apocalypse, he decides to take matters into his own hands. The only people who stand in his way are Mace, Ben, Hawk, and Alana, who take on his powerful army to prevent his evil plans. This game was developed by Core Design, the company that made classics like Tomb Raider. True to their reputation, they have delivered an engaging game that had every bit of the adrenaline-boosting action that gamers sought. You could play as one of the four main characters, and many would choose the giant guy for his strength. The blonde girl with quick moves was also a popular choice for the players. With basic controls, this game didn't pose much of a challenge for novice gamers, and the graphics were among the finest back in the day. There were some interesting parts in the game, such as making your own weapon from the surroundings, or drinking coke to revitalize yourself. If you're a fan of fighting and adventure games, this brutal beat-em-up theme would surely appeal to you. Tobal 2 The story is derived from the first version of the game titled Tobal No. 1, that told the story of a fictional planet named Tobal. A competition was being held to determine who gets the mining rights to all the energy sources, and humans and aliens compete for the prize. You select your career and off you go in this virtual world, fighting the opponents. Tobal 2 was a remarkable fighting game that could be played both in single-player or multiplayer mode. This creation by Dream Factory was re-released in the year 2007 due to demands from the fans. It was a sequel to Tobal No. 1, which was a grand success with a massive craze among gamers. Tobal 2 has been a smashing hit as this 3D sci-fi fighting game has improved characters and gameplay mechanics. One of the best upgrades was the fireball for each character that could take away a part of the player's life, but would deal massive damage in exchange. It is a thrilling journey for the gamers as they navigate through six dungeons divided into levels and populated by monsters. The extensive 200 playable characters made this a pretty big roster for the time. Besides this, the expanded quest mode made this a worthy successor to Tobal No. 1. Those who say cigarettes are addictive should play this once to learn what addiction really feels like. MDK 
Kurt is a janitor at a space station named Jim Dandy. However, he has the supreme task of saving the world from a deadly alien invasion. The unlikely hero has an experimental coil suit to help him out as he takes on the powerful alien forces. The only help Kurt has is from a genetically engineered part cyborg dog, Max. This third-person shooter game was developed by Shiny Entertainment, and contrary to what the title would suggest, this game was not just mindless murder, death, and kill. The dark and imaginative art designs, together with killer graphics, made this a game of the next generation. Such was the quality of the graphics that it was one of the first games to require a Pentium processor to run successfully. To spare you the monotony, each level has a different environment, colors, and even different music. You play as Kurt and face a variety of alien enemies, but you have a wide arsenal of weapons to deal with your foes. The sniper with a 100 times zoom is probably the most effective. You get into the game very quickly, and there are some funny moments to keep you entertained, such as the aliens mocking you. MDK2 was popular as well, but it lacked the dark design that was associated with MDK. As long as you are prepared to handle all the blood and gore in this game, you will love this action-adventure experience. For my transgression, I earned a new kind of reward. Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver. Cain is a nobleman turned vampire who killed the Circle of Nine and got some special powers to live eternally. When his lieutenant Raziel shows signs of evolving very fast, he is cast into the Lake of the Dead. Raziel was destroyed as a vampire, but he is back as a wraith who seeks revenge on Cain. Will he succeed to overthrow the mighty Cain? The real hero in this action-adventure video game is the gripping plot that makes things exciting for the player. Developed by Crystal Dynamics, this game wooed the gamers with a stunning vampire anti-hero and the terrific role-playing elements. Despite the moderate graphics and slowdown problems, the brilliant storyline and some soulful voice acting kept the gamers intrigued. The plane shifting gameplay mechanics was a whole new experience for the gamers. The iron sword, the spiked mace, cool axes, and flaming swords made for a compelling weapon collection that could be used to slay the enemy. Each level is designed meticulously to give you a unique experience. However, they could have done away with the numerous tedious block puzzles along the way that got a little tiresome after a point. We all played it for the sheer electric atmosphere that is provided. The realistic conversations between the characters were just perfect with the script of the game that could put a movie to shame. If only Twilight could take a leaf out of it. Heart of Darkness A young boy, Andy, is troubled by his fear of the dark. While watching the solar eclipse, his beloved dog Whiskey is stolen from him by dark forces. Andy overcomes his fear and travels to the dark world to rescue his dog. He fights the shadowy creatures and monsters in the process and is helped by a friendly alien race called Amigos. His final encounter is with the Master of Darkness, who had plans of kidnapping him instead of his dog. Infogrames Multimedia provided us with this cinematic platform video game that was an instant hit among the PlayStation users. You play as Andy in this adorable gameplay that doesn't allow you to leave your seat until you finish the whole game. In the adventurous journey, you have to solve puzzles, failing which would usually get you killed. The sound is fascinating and the screeches of the shadowy creatures when Andy's electrical beam weapon incinerates them are still fresh in our memory. Although the game is in 2D, the cinematics are fully 3D with very impressive graphics. The controls are fairly simple that even a kid can handle them, and as long as you play patiently, you will have a wonderful time. The Legend of Dragoon 
Dart returned to his village after having failed to avenge the death of his parents, only to find that his village has been ransacked and his lover, Shauna, has been captured. The villain is the evil dictator and his military forces. A determined Dart sets out to restore the power in the rightful hands and to protect his lady love. You play as Dart in this intricately devised RPG. This iconic role-playing game was developed by SCE Japan Studio and involves the player guiding the party as 3D character models through set environments and battles. It was a complete package with brilliant graphics, interesting characters, and lots of weapons and actions to keep you engaged. One of the fun features of this game was that it would keep track of the number of times that you executed the additions to perform the physical attacks. As the number of attempts increases, the attacks get more powerful. Critics have often termed this to be lacking in comparison to other RPG games like the Final Fantasy series. But it still became widely popular back then, selling over a million copies. We wonder why they don't make it into a movie. Future Cop LAPD The goals in this game are simple enough. All you have to do is take control of a transforming mech in Los Angeles and deal with the crime in the city. You have some powerful weapons at your disposal to help you deal with the obstacles in your way. As a Future Cop, you have to serve, protect, and survive. This addictive third-person shooter was developed by EA Redwood Shores and published by Electronic Arts. It was initially intended to be a sequel to the Strike series, but eventually, the maker settled on an unrelated, law enforcement-themed shooter game titled Future Cop. You have both single-player and multiplayer options for this game, where the player has to assume the role of the pilot for the specialized robot to fight crime. This game offers two modes of play, the Precinct Assault that is a strategy mode, and the Crime War mode that follows a set storyline. In the course of the game, you can unlock new areas, like Long Beach and Venice Beach, and even get a second player in cooperative play. It was criminally underrated upon its release with only 200,000 units sold, but those who played this game regard this as a hidden gem. Time for you to find out.